Good afternoon, Facebook. It's that time again. We're back with another business spotlight, another local business in our community. And uh, as you can tell, it's got the food theme. It uh, looks like a beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork behind me there. Um, today, we're highlighting a local business that's based both in Palm Beach Gardens and West Palm Beach. And you've probably heard of them before. Uh, they're the Pizza Girls. And Suzanne Slate uh, is joining us because she's going to talk to Phoebe and Jen about the Pizza Girls. So you know what, Suzanne, take it away. Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Suzanne. Suzanne. <laughs> Happy what the other day it is, right? Now, if it was a typical Monday, would it be uh, trivia night or open mic. open mic night? Yeah, we're missing those days. I know. They were I know. Well, I've known you girls a long time, even before you became my next door neighbor. So I'm, I'm lucky to have you around me. So tell me how you girls started with your pizza and how you got your name. So back in the day in 1996, we were um, making pizzas at a little shop down on Clamata Street. And we decided that we were going to um, open another store because that was only a three-year lease. And we were trying to think of what would be a great name. But at the moment, everyone was calling us the Pizza Girls because we did these little commercials for the 10 o'clock news and wherever we went, people said, hey, you're those Pizza Girls. So when it was time to open up a new store, we just went with that name because that's who we were. That's it's awesome. Just How long have you had the Palm Beach Garden store now? Uh, we just had our three-year three anniversary. It wow. was so happy that you're up in our area. It's turned into a really good store. Tell us about your menu there. You have wine-based liquor. Tell us, tell us all about what goes on in Palm Beach Gardens and then the difference between Palm Beach Gardens and West Palm. Okay, well, I will tell you, the, same, the thing that's the same is our great pizza. So that's for sure the same. Palm Beach Gardens, we have a, a larger menu. We have... Um, Dining seat, uh, dining in. Not now, however. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-COVID nineteen. <laughs> um, so people can come and sit and have table service and enjoy some local craft beer. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> so. Take out only right now. <laughs> but we do have a full service menu, um, so you can get pasta and salads and chicken dishes and veal shrimp clams mussels so it's a different different menu in those terms as opposed to downtown is mostly pizza by the slice pies subs uh salads and wings which we have those up here as well in the garden are you doing a full menu now during this time or not you toned it down or you're still doing a full menu still doing a full menu wow to our menu and we have these we have these take make and bake pizza and cookie kits I so love that I love that it has been so much fun the pictures that we get of the kids and the adults making their pizza it's really fun and people love it I, 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 you're gonna keep that going all year I mean you're gonna like put that in your whole repertoire from yeah. now on I yeah think it's awesome a, a fun thing and it's different. Oh, Jen, did you tell them that we also include a cookie now? So you can oh, make right. your own cookie. So, so we put cookie dough in there, too. So while you're eating your pizza and it's done baking, you turn the oven down, you put the cookie, the cookie dough in there, and then by the time you get done with your pizza, you have a fresh, hot cookie. A oh, large. Large yeah. one. Yeah. Depends whether I'm cooking or not. So the other day I was there and you guys are slammed. I mean, that phone is ringing off the hook. You could probably have 10 operators there. So I'm very happy that that's good for you guys. But what's the best way for people to reach you so that they can not get frustrated feeling like they're waiting too long? The best way to place your order is to go to pizzagirls.com, click on the order online, it will take you over to our portal where you can enter your credit card information safely and securely and place your order and it will come right into our POS system. It will tell you how long the wait is. Uh, everything's automatic. And then when you come here, 
you can uh, pull up to the front and someone is outside, you'll give them your order number and then we will run your food out to your car. So it's important that they know what their order number is, correct? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And if they come, they pull up to the um, the sidewalk, do they call you? Is that how they're doing it? Calling you well, and having you bring it out? outside who is um, dedicated order number taker and he'll come in and get the food. Good. So you are also serving liquor or beer? Oh, yeah. All of our um, cocktails are available for sale to go. Um, but what we're doing as a special is two for one beer on tap. So let's say you want a Stella. Instead of buying a pint, you would buy a quart. And we put it in a soup to go container so it is sealed and properly ready to go. And, uh, and it's just for the price of one beer, you get two. That's What's my type of deal right there. That's right? my type of deal. I'd rather order and then sit there and drink my beer. Can you do yes, that when you getting outside? That. Sure. You do whatever you want outside, you know? And Still what I love about your store is you do have a sign that you can't come in without a mask on. Yes. That's really we, important. Um, everyone in here, we have the gloves, masks. I've been making some masks as a little side gig. And uh, <laughs> I have one. Yes. And I keep getting orders for more. <laughs> yes, I've been doing that on my free time, making um, masks. Oh, Here's mine. Jen has putting her mask on. There you go. And uh, so, yeah, we want to keep everyone safe. And um, when the, even when the delivery people come in, like from Uber Eats and delivery dudes. Oh, Samantha has her mask. Let's see your mask. It's one of our cooks. Yeah, swing around and show us what the store looks like. Oh, six. She has a doggy mask too. That's Samantha. I have mine, Samantha. Suzanne, you guys have the same one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember when Suzanne told me the first time, she said, you gotta go try this breakfast pizza. And I was like, what the hell is breakfast pizza? <laughs> and my wife and I went and we got the eggs Benedict pizza and it was out of this world. I mean, amazing. <laughs> Can people still order, I know if it, you're not open early, but can people still order breakfast pizzas or specialty pizzas throughout the day? I guess so. Yes. No one has, but we, but, we could do that. And I got I to gotta add one more thing, and I'll let Suzanne get back. But I, I'm from northeastern Pennsylvania, and we know good pizza up in PA. And it's tough to find good pizza down in Florida. And I have to say, you guys have one of the best pizzas I've known around. What? What's the secret? What's the secret to pizza? Because there is a secret. It's not, it, not all pizza is the same. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not all the same. What's the That's secret? That's because I'm from PA too. <laughs> if we told you the secret, We'd have to kill you. So that's what it is. You have the PA in you. That's what it is. I'm telling you, they're good pizzas from up that way. It's not the same down here in Florida, but you guys have. And you got New York in the house. And that's right. That's the mix. That's, that's the secret. PA plus New York equals good pizza, I guess. Yeah. That's it. Um, all right, Suzanne, go ahead. Take it away. You can so what, are, what are some of your biggest challenges right now? One of the biggest challenges is getting the amount of food out in a short time. You know, people are calling uh, and they want their dinner within two hours and uh, so that's difficult um, because everybody's doing it all at once yeah it's you know between five and seven everyone is ordering dinner uh, but we're getting there you know we've rearranged the store a little bit I'll give you a little tour yeah so what we've done, what we've done is uh, up oh, there go the phones we've turned this area into little clothes pins uh -huh. so this is now a pickup zone and we've blocked off the rest of the restaurant so that nobody can come into the restaurant and walk around so we put the bar stools up and it's really just a very small takeout area um no slices, no slices. we've stopped doing that um and uh you know, it's difficult times, but um, to, to be selling what we are in the short amount of time, we're making it happen. But like I said, the, the biggest challenge has been the phones um, and, and getting everything is, as to go. We also have these little tags that we put on the box to seal the box. So 
once you're getting a delivery from delivery dudes or Uber or Grubhub, those boxes are sealed when they leave our restaurant. And uh, so nobody opens your, you know, you know that you're getting a, a box that no one has opened. Yeah, that's awesome. I never even thought of that. Yeah. So you're, you're how many hours a, a, a day are you working? 42 hours a day? Um, <laughs> well, you know, you still got to do the books and got to make those masks. But, you know, we're here most of the day. And um, uh, the hours of the restaurant are 11 to 8 right now. Is it hard for you to get the food that you need or is the food plentiful? Um, pretty much everything is available still. Um, we're using a few different vendors now. So if one is missing product, which we have had that happen, we just go to another one. So well, we're I, around yeah. trying to get the best prices and you know, doing what we can. Uh, hopefully we get a little PPP action and um, <laughs> you know, I know. Keep it's tough all the way around. Yeah. Well, I just want to say, you know, Pizza Girls, Jen and, and Phoebe, uh, I've had your pizza before. It's fantastic. And another, this is just another business we've interviewed here, Suzanne, another local business, the fabric of the community. It's businesses like this that we must continue to support. And we're all in this together. Palm Beach Gardens family right here. That's right. Uh, so just continue to support local businesses like the Pizza Girls. I mean, they're hardworking people. They're making masks and making pizza at the same time. I mean, this is just, this is great. But this is good stuff. And, and, the, and the pizza kits, it's a good way to bond with your family. Kids can make the pizza, the cookies. So thanks, Phoebe. Thank you, Jan, for joining us today. Suzanne, as always, thank you. And thank you, girls. We'll, thanks, thank guys. You guys. We'll catch everybody again. You too. All right. And have a slice day. <laughs>